in previous part we had learned about functions introduction to functions concept of a function different characteristics of function unique name specific task independent receive the values from the calling program may return a value to the calling program these are the different characteristics of a function also we had learned advantages of modular design different types of a function and we know that there are the mainly two types of a function first is a predefined or standard library function and second is user defined function predefined function or the standard library function means what see when we are using the any function in our program we need to declare this program declare this functions in our program means function prototype is important function call is important function definition is important but when you are using the predefined or library function at that time no need to write the prototype or definition of this function just you need to write the header file of this function okay c language has provide the facility to provide the library function for performing the some operation okay some of the operations are defined these functions are already exist in this header file okay these functions are present in a c library and they are predefined function only you need to write the respective header file okay and must be included in your program to access all these function definition from this header file means suppose uh, i am using the character handling function uh, functions means suppose is lower is upper is this is or uh, many more functions are exist in a c type dot h header file so when i am using this function in my program no need to uh, give the declaration before the main or no need to define this function because the see here i am using the function is upper okay is upper the prototype and the definition of this function is already exist inside the file c type dot h so no need to uh, define this function c is upper so because already it exists in c type dot h okay so uh, which are the functions of c type dot h c character handling function means like uh, each alpha numeral uh, we are using this function to check whether the path character is alpha numeric or not see here we are handling the just a single character okay each alpha means we are checking this character is alphabetic or not each okay each control okay means see here we are using the each lower each upper each print each space means if it is true it will return the true otherwise it will return the false because and the data type see here we are using the data type as a int okay sometimes here we are using directly it in a if okay if is upper means if the past character is a in upper case then only it will return the true and then uh, it will execute the line percent c is an upper case character okay but if this character this entire character is in a lower case it will directly jump to the else part and it will check for is lower okay <clears throat> if it is uh, not a lower case letter also then it will check for the else if is digit see here also we are using the concept of else if ladder okay this all control structure all c fundamentals are the parts of each and every program in this program also we are using this different c else if ladder then uh, uh, if statement compound if statement these all are the parts of each and every program so all the chapters are interconnected okay so let's try to run this program on online compiler how to open online compiler i have already told in previous video see just copy this go to chrome and type here online compiler so this online gdb.com is open okay so paste this code here and try to run using this online compiler you need to select the language here language is c just click on a run okay now here enter the character what is our program c here is the your program in this program here enter the character we are accepting input is your single character percent c is for the character read the character from the user check if is upper this entered character is in upper case if it is in upper case it will return this okay 
If not, then only it will go for the else condition. Again, in, inside the else, there is a if is lower, if lower, then it will print the lower case letter. If it is not lower case, then again it will go to the else if is digit. If it is not a digit, then again it will check for the if space. Means if your enter character is a space, then only it will check all the condition and then in the last condition it will print the it is a space. But if it is a uh, other than a space, if it is a lower case or upper case or digit, it will print here. Okay, just click on a uh, run to run this code and after this, see here, enter the character. So, see here is a some uh, some errors, warning. Okay, because you uh, we need this header file, stdio.h, but you have not entered this header file. Okay, so you just click on OK first. Here, click here, type the character and then enter. Okay, so first we need to include this header file because we are using here the online compiler, that's why it's showing only the warning. But when you are using the Turbo C or Linux or any operating system at that time, it will give you an error. So, best practice to remove all the warning and then execute your program stdio.h. Okay, you need to execute. And you need to add this header file, just click on a run. So now see, here is now warning free, error free. Okay. okay, enter the character. Suppose your character is T. This is a small letter, just press enter. So you will get the output T is lowercase letter. Again, check for the different input. Now here I am pressing the capital T. Okay, and then just press enter. So here T is an uppercase character. Again, click on a run. Suppose enter character is 5, it is a digit. So it will print 5 is a digit. Again, run and suppose enter character is space. See, enter character is space. And press enter is space. Enter character is space. So in this way, you can use the C type dot H header file to check for to handle this single character, to check inter character is lowercase, uppercase, space, digit. Okay. So, for this you can use this header file. So, after this we will go to the uh, next. Okay. Next header file. Say uh, there is a one more header file, match.h, stdlib.h. Many more header files are exist. So, let's see. There is some example about the match.h. See, match.h header file. Include the mathematical functions. Okay, different mathematical functions. Uh, some functions are related to trigonometry, some related with the power, then square root, then degree to Celsius. Okay, the different functions are available under the math.h also. Let's see the one function. Find square root of a given number. Okay, so when we are uh, writing the program, for square of two number, then at the time it's easy. Just number into number, you, you will get the square. But when uh, we want the square root of a number, means you suppose the square root of a four, you can easily tell the uh, what is the square root of a four. Then the answer is two. Square root of a nine, answer is a three. But what is the square root of a seven? What is square root of a six? What is square root of five? We don't know about this because these values are in a decimal point. It's not easy to directly calculate the square root of a, uh, 10 or 11 or the 57. Okay, how to calculate this? For this also in the computer system in math.h there is a predefined function sqrt. Okay, sqrt is a function to calculate the square root of a number. Suppose you have entered the any number. Okay, integer number. Okay, enter the number. It is in an integer format. Square root of a percent D is percent X. Means that suppose square root of a 5 is something or square root of a 4 or 3 is something. Okay. So let's copy this code and track on online compiler. So you will get the clear idea about this. Okay. So paste the code here. Okay. Now code is here. Just click on a run to run this code. Here we are using the math.h header file. Okay. See, enter the number of number to calculate the square root. See, we know that the square root is 9. So, just first check with the correct input. We know that. So, just enter the 9 and check for the output. Square root of 9 is 
three point something. Okay, so why this point in a point? Because I have given here first and that floating point, and here we are using the float. Okay, type casting of this integer variable. Just again click on a run and try. So the next number, suppose I'm entering the number eleven. Okay, and just press the enter. So the square root of eleven is three point three one six six two. Okay. So in this way, you can calculate the square root of a number just in a one click. But it's not easy to calculate the number manually. Calculate the square root of number manually. Okay. So let's see more functions of a math dot h. So now see here is the next function. Find the power of given number. You can easily calculate the power of number. Means two raised to two is four. Two raised to three is eight. But two raised to ten is what? Three raised to five is what? Okay. Or ten raised to Five or the nine raised to three. How to calculate this? See, you can use the easy function for this to calculate the power of number. See here, print the enter the base and power number. So can you use the function? So read this uh, data from the user and calculate the here calculate the power of the number. So one is the base to number and three is the rest to means a raised to b. A raised to b means what? See, in generally we are writing this. Uh, Power is in the form of a. See, we are writing in this way a. Uh, how to mm, do a raised to b? Okay, for this we know that in the Microsoft Word there is when we are writing the day, uh, there is a, mm, a. You can write the a raised to b, but I am using the word pair, so it's not possible. So you can write in this way a raised to b. Okay, a raised to b means a is the base number, b is your uh, raised to. Or here I am using the b, b as a base and b. Raised to p, so b raised to p. So suppose the your b value is a uh, suppose ten and p value is a three. So ten raised to three. Okay, this is a in data sheet. B raised to p, or you can say the ten raised to three. So how to calculate this? So just use the function p o w. Don't write it in a capital or don't write in a uh, don't write full p o w e r. Just write p o w and then your base number and raised to number. So it will calculate the uh, b raised to p and it will store this answer inside the answer and just print percent d to the power percent d equals to d means b suppose the value is a 10 10 to the power 3 equals to you will get the your answer. One more uh, function from the math dot h as you know that uh, all the trigonometric function we learned. The, All the trigonometric functions in 11, 12, and from the seventh uh, class we are learning this different function. We know that sine, cos, tan, and all. Okay, so we know how to calculate the. Uh, we know this table. So from this table you can calculate the sine of 60, sine of 30, 90, 45. But how to calculate the sine of uh, 34, 35, cot of uh, 91? How to calculate this? So we can calculate by using this predefined function. So just use this trigonometric function. See here, I'm using the double value. Okay, write the double value because this is a long search value. So I'm using the double. Uh, this is also the one data type. Okay, and the value equals to sine of 90. So sine of 90. You can easily calculate the sine of 90. You know that the table. But if I'm changing the value, sine of 91. How to calculate this sine of 91? So just uh, use the function sine of or cos of, tan of. This different uh, trigonometric function you can use. Okay, so for this we uh, are using the data type as a double. Then you are a function name, and you can pass here the angle, and then you will get the answer in one. Okay, so write the value. See, print here sine of 91 or sine of 90 is equal to two. Okay, in this way you can use the predefined function. Also, you can use the std lib dot h. This is also the one. Standard library file. Okay, we are using the some functions from this header file also. Exit. Exit is a function which is predefined. Okay, and it is including std library dot h. Okay, this type of a function we are using in our program. These are the standard library functions. Also, you can write the user defined function. User defined function means what? See, here I am declaring. This is the prototype, or it, you can say the function. Declaration. Okay, this is a function declaration of uh, addition function. Okay, this is a function declaration. Here we are giving the call to the function. This is a call to the function, and here is a definition of one function. Okay, this is a this part is a 
definition for okay see why we are declaring the uh, this function here why need to write the prototype of each and every function this is a instruction to the compiler i am using this function in our on in our program of this parameter and of this data type okay this is a instruction for the compiler so we are writing it in a above the main okay and you can write the whole definition of this function here also no problem you can write the all code here okay then the int main user defined function means what you can choose the any name to your function user defining the code of this function that's why it is known as user defined function user can create their own function for performing the specific task i am writing this function to add two number and these two are the parameter these are the parameter this is your function name and this is the data type of your function integer data type and this addition and here is a two variables okay we are using this uh, variable so so when we are passing this parameter okay from here x and y we are passing the value for the uh, addition function x and y these are known as the actual parameter okay these are the actual parameter we are uh, uh, storing the value actually in x and y but formally we are using it as a and b we are passing x and y and this x will copy inside the a and y inside the b and here we are using the a and b in our program so this is known as a formal parameter in function definition the which the parameter which we are using in a function definition are the formal parameter and the parameter which we are passing to the function or these are the actual parameters so we are using this and here is the return statement why we are writing the return statement in each and uh, in uh, functions whose data type is int or char or float rather than the word okay so return statement it will really return the um, value after execution of this code so this addition will store see this is the right side this is left side first we will do the call to the addition so this block will execute and after this it will return the answer uh, some value from answer to z okay it will store inside the z and here you can see the z see okay this is known as the user defined function and when we are using the user defined function method when we are using the user defined function in that uh, you can pass the uh, parameter by using the different method so there is a the method called by uh, value method called by reference method called by address method so these are the different method of parameter pass thank you